Good evening and welcome to round four of the chili eating competitions. So we now have three winners so far. We have Cameron Grennan from the first round. We've got Neil Childs from the second round. We've got Billy McBlain from the third round. And if you saw that, very controversial finish, but we'll discuss that in a minute. And now we're looking for our fourth one. And like we said at the beginning, we're going to do one more at the beginning of the summer and then a grand final at the end. So let's bring in our special guest just to preview um, round four. Shahina, hi. Hello. Once what again. Happened, what happened in that last one? Did you see round 10? What happened to Paul? It was completely nail biting stuff. And I really was all geared up. I was like then just like waiting to see this like speed finale. And then like that happened with Paul's phone. I was absolutely gutted for him. Absolutely gutted. But you know, knowing Billy the way I do, I think he, you know, he was a proper contender for that win. So it's one of those. But really got it for Paul. Really gutted. Yeah, I mean, like like you say, Billy is a worthy winner and we haven't got a clue what would happen in that speed. But there's yeah. a few things to there's a few things to discuss there. I mean, but first of all, obviously, this you know somebody's phone dying is not something that can happen at a, a normal chili competition. So you know, we really need to make sure at the beginning of these competitions that people have got a phone, it's got a charge, you know, and it's going to last for you know the hour. Um, yeah. But one of the things one of the things that I want to ask you about is James Nixon's tactics, right? of delaying, right? He knew that he didn't stand as much of a chance if that got to the speed round. So he was delaying and delaying. What sort of tactics have you seen or used or faced or whatever in real chili competition? Well, you know, people try all sorts of things. Um, I mean, to James, it was pretty obvious what he was doing because he was grinning and laughing about it. He was uh, making sure everyone had eaten their part and then he'd start and he'd do it really painfully, slowly. And obviously, if, if you're in a live competition uh, and there's all these crowds in there and the stage time where there's, like, music going on to happen after you guys, so the hosts do hurry you along, so they do start a countdown and things. So that wouldn't have been allowed to happen, like, continuously through the round. But it's different when you're online. Obviously, we've got the time and everything. But people do sort of all sorts of tactics, things like this. And other people, like I, I, a couple of my videos on YouTube, you can actually quite clearly see women like um, eating peppers and hiding them up their skirts and shorts and things like that. So, you know, people do funny things. And it's quite funny to watch. When you watch it backwards, you know, it's just like hilarious. Hilarious what people do to get a win. And I mean, you know, his tactics, I think, almost backfired because when it got to round six and he ate the chocolate scorpion, that, that is a mean pepper to eat. And it was just it was just so, so hot just to eat it slowly. But I, th I think the other ones were just getting them down quickly. But I think that tactic of delaying, having little bits in your mouth and a little bit more in your mouth, it almost prolonged it and made it worse. You know, there is a saying for that, and I can't remember it now. It's so good, but I can't remember it right now. And it's, it's just something about, like, your own falling on your own guitar or something. I can't remember it now. What do you say? Isn't it falling on your own sword? Something like that, yeah. But there is like a historic way of saying it, and that's exactly what happened to James Nixon today. It was really interesting because, you know, the burn got him. He couldn't do it. Because he himself was dragging out on himself, so he was thinking he was being really clever doing it to the rest of the contestants, but he himself was suffering. So, you know, it's quite funny to watch, and that was hilarious. But, you know, he can do well. The guy's good when he can, like, um, when he puts his mind to it. But that was a hilarious watch. Comedy value to the show. <laughs> <laughs> I was so gutted though for Paul. He was like, he was going through just as if it was nothing. He said, you know, not even getting more than a sort of two or a three out of ten. Gearing himself yeah. up to speed. And he's, he's a real fast eater, you know, as Jem, who's coming on in a minute, will testify. Paul's really fast, you know. And I think, you know, who knows what would have happened to me and um, Paul in the end. And a speed round, because I haven't seen that before. So it would have been really interesting to watch that, yeah, for sure. But, you know, next time he might change his tactics a little bit. You just never know. <laughs> well, I really, I, re I mean, tonight's competitors are. You know, we've got some good ones here. So I'm hoping that we get to that speed round again and we see a second speed because that was so exciting last time. 
Sorry. Sorry, go on. I think we both, with the wonders yeah, uh, of the internet, I think we both went at the same time there. Um, all these winners are going to get, like, the Chug V2 from League of Fire, special edition. They're going to be the first few people to get this, which is pretty cool. And they'll be the first few people to do it on YouTube or on their live videos on YouTube. So that's pretty exciting. And the other thing that's ending tonight at midnight is the Super League Hot Sauce uh, voting on League of Fire, which is incredible. They've had hundreds and hundreds of votes coming in, which is just wow. incredible. So, so sort of pleased with that result. So that was something that was um, launched by the League of Fire to, you know, not really find the best sources, but almost bring awareness to the producers and all of the product that they're making, try and give a little bit of exposure at a difficult time. And today is the last day, is that right? That's right. I think it ends at midnight tonight, the voting. So anybody who wants to vote for their favorite sources now is your time now is the chance and you have to do it before midnight and then the voting closes and they will announce the winner pretty soon after that so that was 20 miles 20 medium 20 hot and 20 super hot so i think there's 20 yeah. producers in there yeah really really good and i think there's a target as well for the for the winner so yeah if, if anybody's out there that hasn't voted, this, please do go to the League of Fire and make sure that you um, you vote for your sources that you've um, that your favourite there. Should we have a look at what we've got tonight? I'm so looking forward to it. Let's do this. Okay, right. So our lineup tonight is Jem Dervish, Vicky Beams, Adele Wilkinson, Robert McKinley, and Brad Williams. Now, the, f the first thing that jumps out to me here is we actually have two ladies. Now, so out, nice. A couple of ladies there. Out of 20 competitors, why have we only got two ladies? You know, that is surprising, actually, because when I do go into my competitions, it seems to be fairly sort of equal, like in the male-female ratio. So I am surprised that in this online cheerleading uh, competition lineup, we've only had two females. Um, uh, which is strange. Uh, I, I don't know why that is. Uh, I don't know if they think they're not going to do well or they're a bit shy or what have you. But I think women tend to do better in these competitions. So anyone who's thinking about it should really just go for it next time and don't have second thoughts. Because even if you don't win, it's, a, it's just a bit of fun, you know. Exactly. So definitely, like, I'd encourage other ladies to go on there and try their luck. <laughs> Okay, right. So first of all, the first person we have is Jem Dervish. Um, now, Jem is a regular on Nuke. He's done, isn't, isn't he the holder of the corn chips um, record, or at least in the UK? He's certainly got a very, very good time on the corn chips, which is a League of Fire challenge. I've seen him do uh, Moabs as well. I'm pretty sure I've done seen him do Jupiter. So he he's a bit of a veteran with the challenges. What do you know about Jem? You know, well, Jem, uh, I think he is the top guy in the UK, but there is very shorter. I think he's got the world record at the moment with the world corn chips. But Jem yeah. is super quick, super, super quick. Anything he does, he does it greatly, and he does it really, really fast. And then uh, just just a side sort of step there, but how cute is his daughter? Like, I watch his videos, his little daughter. She's so adorable, you know. She's such a confident young lady, and I love to watch her. But that set aside, Jen is, is an opponent to sort of fear, I think, because not only does he handle the heat, he has the speed thing going. So he can do both endurance and speed. So it'd be really interesting to watch him tonight with a fresh pot eating um, and doing like 10 rounds and then going on to speed. Interesting. Like, I'm really looking forward to seeing him. Yeah, I think he's the one where if he can get to the speed round, he's got, he's got a fair chance of winning. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, next we have our first lady, Vicky Beams. So one third of the three amigos and part of the Alex and Vicky Reviews um, YouTube channel. Um, now, Vicky, Vicky is quite formidable. What, I mean, we both know Vicky very well. What do you think about Vicky? Vicky has this strength. And, you know, nobody knows about it. She come, She came to my house. We did a dinner when Johnny was here. You came over as well in October. We did the uh, the double belt matches here, 
and she was just standing there in my lobby and with Johnny Scoville and a few other friends and she was just popping these tube of clarinets like no problem one after the other and she wasn't bending over, she wasn't in any kind of pain, she just took it so well and, and she shocked me that day and I was thinking oh my god I never want to go up against her um, and funny enough a few months later we all went out for dinner you as well, a few other close friends. And then we came back and we tried these really super hot nuts uh, from our friend. Um, and then Steve, again, Steve Cooley, oh my God, those nuts were like crazy. I had one and I was dying. Rick was like, I think I could give him four ice creams from the freezer before he calmed down. <laughs> um, and she was just sat there and she had like a whole pack, no she problem, had the whole you know. Pack, didn't she? Yeah. And I she was like, nice. oh my goodness. <laughs> And I'm saying, are you okay? Yeah, no, I'm good, I'm good, no problem. So that was what put fear of Vicky in me. After that, I was like, oh my God, this lady, she's incredible with her tolerance and nobody actually knows about it. So it's amazing to see her in this competition again today. I'd love to see how far she uh, goes and how well she does. I mean, she, according to the competition that we did where everybody gave their favourite, she is not the favourite. But I think she's got dark horse written all over her. I promise you this, uh, Stephen, it's because they haven't seen her in person do what she does. I have. So in my mind, she is one of the top contenders tonight because I have seen her handle stuff. There's not even a break of the sweat. So she's good. She's great. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Okay, next we come to um, the second lady, Adele Wilkinson. Now, we know Adele um, well as well, don't we? She was at the Tyne Burner. Do you remember that one? That was such a great contest to watch. Um, I've never sort of imagined anything like it to do what she did uh, against Johnny Scoville. So she lost in the 10th round, and then she said, I'm still going to finish the speed round, and she persevered. She went, and I think she won the crowd. She won the hearts of everybody around the world after that. And that's how she got her title, Adele the Brain. And even Johnny Scoble was a huge fan after that because, you know, not many people do that. You usually kind of go up. She just sat there saying, no, I'm going to finish this, what's given to me, and she did it. Incredible lady. I admire her so much. And since then, she's gone on to do so many challenges and she's done so, so well. Incredible strength, incredible mind over matter. And she suffers, you know, she's like me. She suffers the pain, but she would just go through and, and do the challenge on hand. So she's great. Love her. So she, I'm pretty sure she's in the League of Fire top 10, isn't she? Oh my God, yeah. She is, and she's up in the top 10, and you know, well done to her. Kudos, well deserved, you know, because she really deserves to be there. She does so much. That's it. She's number six, I think, now. And it's not okay. just about cleaning comps or what have you, or your tolerance. It's about what you do for the Chile community, you know, overall. Like being the top Chile head in the League of Fire, it's not just about being able to handle the hottest Chile. It's about how much you contribute to the community. And she does so much with the new Chile head group, with the, involving the producers, you know, spending the money, getting the challenges and doing them. and. She's so, so supportive of everybody. It's great. I mean, I, pr I think she's pretty much on all of the tables. She's done all of the challenge multiple times. And, you know, she, she's really forced herself into that top 10 purely by how many um, challenges that she's done. She must, she must have done 30, 40 challenges or something like that. She has. And she's just so sort of focused and, and is so dedicated and it's something to sort of really cherish and, and you know, appreciate and respect. Like, she will go for it and, and you know, she has done so well. Any challenge she does, she does it really well. So I have nothing but respect for her. Nothing but respect. Well, according to our competition, she is the favourite for this group. So we will I'm see. Not, I'm not surprised at all. <laughs> okay, then we come to Robert McKinley, Burning Ball. Now, um, Burnham, in the competition that we did, there was actually only one person who um, has managed to get the first three competition winners correct, and that is actually Burnham Bob himself. Um, oh, wow. And as you can imagine, he's predicted that he will win this fourth one. <laughs> so tonight, it's not just one competition that he's going for, he's going for two. <laughs> Wow. 
That is so cool. I can't believe he called the first three. That's excellent because, you know, I wouldn't have known. I was just so torn between so many people. So I couldn't have called it correctly. But he did amazing. And, you know, you know, Bob is amazing. He so loves the Chile community. He has such a nice heart. He's so supportive of the Chile community, of us. And I just love that he's in there now competing. And, you know, if he can put, get past this gag reflex that he has, then I am telling you, he can do well. And what he does is a bit like me, who put up with the pain and then deal with the consequences later, which is why I normally do with all my competitions and my challenges, because I, I have never, ever said, never, ever declared that I've got the best tolerance in the world. I just don't. I suffer so much for my uh, pain and for pleasure of others, and I think that's something that Bob does, and I respect him for it. I remember last year when um, James Nixon started doing his challenges and, and Bob would be by his side, um, you know, with a bit of a lesser tolerance and James would say, try this little thing and it would be too much for Bob. But I think yeah. almost we're, we're getting there to a point where Luke Skywalker is um, a product in Obi-Wan. No, I think it's, uh, as they say, you know, practice uh, practice makes perfect. This that definitely applies to Bob. And the more challenges he's doing, the more time he has under his belt, he's getting better and better. And he's definitely a force to contend with. So we will not be able to take him lightly tonight. And he's definitely up there in my books. Good, good. Okay, and last, last we come to Brad Williams. Um, Brad has just joined Nuke. Um, he's, he's not a regular, but we know him quite well, don't we? Um, you've definitely, you definitely know him from last summer. What was your experience with Brad? So Brad and I went up in uh, the Great Dorset Chili Festival last year, and he and I um, went up in the speed. We went through all the rounds that were there, and then ended up being a speed round of like this huge uh, sort of non heat pepper, full of fluid, full of like flesh. And um, we were so close, like he was amazing at it. There was seconds in it uh, and I won and I felt really bad because he was incredibly, you know, he did so well. His friends were there watching him and things like that. And I did feel bad. And uh, But, you know, it was all fair the way it was done. But I did say to him in the end, like we were messaging each other afterwards and I was telling him because he wasn't really in the Chile community. He ended up being there at just a chance because of his friends. So. Then he said, actually, this is so exciting. This is interesting. Where do I go next? So I actually did tell him about the Cheese and Chili Festivals and some other ones. And I think he ended up going a couple of weeks later to the Cheese and Chili Festival and actually winning the chili eating competition there. He did so incredibly well. And I think in a way, maybe that was tougher because it dragged on much longer than the one in Dorset. And he did it and he won. And that's it. Once you do a couple, you get the bug for it, you know. And so it's great to get new people who have no idea about the chili community to get more people into the fold because of these competitions is so nice because people do get addicted it's an addictive sport it's a it's, it's a sport that people like to watch people like to take part in and so for some new people to come into the fold is pretty really incredible i remember that day at York, that, um he i think you beat him by like a second he was so on your heels um he put in such a good performance I was just like watching him. I was like, he was on my left, and I was like, oh my god, oh my god! And here I am trying to stuff this huge pepper in my mouth. There's no grace about it. You look awful, you know, like just like your your cheeks swell up like a gerbil. I don't know, and and you look crazy with like everything like running down. And he was the same. And I was just looking at him, and I was like, oh my god, it's still got a bit more than him. So I'm like really trying to chop down, and and you know the adrenaline, the pressure, the craziness the intensity of being in that situation there and he was feeling it as well and and i can't believe it we were both so close and then afterwards we like had a few pictures together we had a hug and he was just saying to me you know like that was crazy it's an amazing experience and he was so happy to go up against me and and the best thing was that he encouraged him to go and take part in some more competitions you know which is like the best part like i love people to get involved in the chili community after going up against me i mean that's a bonus <laughs> I mean that, that the good thing about Daughter is it's one of the most um, you know it's one of the, the longest running festivals. And the crowd that day, if you remember, you couldn't even see the back of the crowd. It was huge, and they they get you know they know their chilies down there, and they got so involved. So to do his first competition in front of that crowd, you can understand why he got into it, you know, and why he's keen to continue. 
it's a buzz. It gives you a buzz, you know. He came off it and he was saying to me, that was one of the best experiences I've had. Yeah. I don't care if I came second to you. My friends were encouraging me to do it and I wasn't even sure. But then I went for it and now I'm thinking I can't even look back. I want to do more and more of these. This is so exciting. And he wanted to travel, um, you know, around the areas and, and go to different competitions, which is exactly what I do, you know. Like I try to go to different festivals because all festivals are so different and so to take them in during the day and the end of the chili festival like chili eating competition at the end it's great and he had the exact same bug as me and he went to a few festivals that um, and like after Dorset and there would have been a few more he would have gone to this year had it not been for the situation we're in now so this is so special for him to be on this competition tonight for me I'm so happy to see him here Great. Okay. Well, that, that's our lineup, and I guess we're we're done. It's just nothing left to to get the people. I really want to say thank you very much for joining me. Honestly, I couldn't have had anybody better to give me an insight into what it's like to do this, especially from like a physical point of view. I hope you've enjoyed it. I have absolutely, Stephen. Thank you so much. It's an honor to be here. It was so kind of you to ask me. I was so touched and uh, humbled by it. Thank you so very much. And and to be honest, my heart and my mind is really into this. I, I love every single one of the contestants. I followed their journey uh, through the time, like the last year and this year. And it's just so nice to see all this come together. And I'm so happy to be a part of it. Thanks to you, Stephen. Thank you. Well, I hope you'll come back and you'll do round five and then ultimately the final as well. And we can share this together. That'll be so cool. Yeah, try to keep me away from that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Shanina, thank you very much. I'm going to put you back in the lobby and really thanks for everything that you've done. Absolutely. Good luck. All right. Thank you. Right. So there we go. That's our sort of preview of tonight's um, competition. Let's get everybody in now. So we have Jem Dervish. We have Vicky Beams. We have Adele Wilkinson. We have Robert McKinley, and we have Brad Williams. How are you doing, everyone? Hi, hi. Yeah, all good. All good. Everybody got their phone charged. <laughs> good. We do not want a repeat of round three where um, we had somebody drop out after round 10 because their phone died. Okay, good. Just to go over the rules, um, we're going through 10 rounds of um, chilies, and then we'll be doing a speed round if we get that far. Nobody's allowed any drinks during the competition. We will be doing a three-minute timer on each of the rounds if we need it. Um, you're not allowed to go off camera. We need to see the chilies all the way down to the stalks so that we can see that you've finished them. Um, we will only continue each round as and when you're ready. So, if I can ask you to um, get out bag one that contains the first <coughs> three rounds, and if you can find the jalapeno, please, which is the big red chili. All good. All good. Right. Anybody want to say anything before we start? Or all good, good to go? go? Just uh, pray for me. <laughs> well, I do. Um, I'm a, I was a bit gutted for Paul, but oh. um, Billy Billy stood there, and we can't take anything away from Billy. He sat there, and he took a three-minute burn from, from a reaper, and that, that itself is massive. So yeah. I'm going to applaud Billy just for, just for that mean feat itself. So props to you, Billy. Yeah, three minutes I mean, is a long time for <laughs> the reaper. I think at the end of the day, nobody knows how that speed round would have gone. Right. You know, they both got there. Paul looked very composed. I'm sure he was going to do well. Billy might have done just as, as well and won. You just don't know. But at the end of the day, you know, once somebody goes off camera for two or three minutes, it's not fair then to mm -hmm. sort of, you know, wait for them or bring them back on. They can do anything when the camera's no, off. No, 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 no. You know, there's there's lots of reasons there why we have to bring that to a close, and mm -hmm. we'll need to think about it going forward. You know, because it's not it's not really fair on the other person to to keep them hanging. But anyway, let's get on with tonight. Good luck, team four. Good luck, gang. Good luck, guys. Good luck, guys. Okay, right. If we're ready, first round tonight, the jalapeno. 
So this one is 2,000 to 5,000 <laughs> global heat units. Should be fairly easy. Three, two, one. Chomp those chilies. So the guy said tonight this is fairly fruity. It's lovely. Not mm. too, yeah, James Nixon said it was lovely. Mm. Very juicy. Yeah. Mm. It's like a pepper. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, it's like a pepper. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes, though, you get rogue. Yeah, well done, Jim. Sometimes you get the rogue jalapenos that really are pretty hot. But I think these ones are quite suitable for round one. They're almost like a sort of pepper. Well done, Bob. Brad, have you done any competition since, since we saw you last year in Dorset? Um, the cheese and chilli. Which no. one was it? Was it Swindon? It was Winchester. Winchester, Winchester was it? that was it. That was it. Yeah, it was Winchester, yeah. And have you no, done any, unfortunately, mate? It's a shame. Because all this, you know, COVID malarkey, it's uh, sort of for everything on old, isn't it? But yeah, great, well... Were you planning on going to Dorset this year? Oh, yeah. 100%. Yeah. 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 Well, it's still, still not cancelled, so we don't know. Yeah, I mean, a lot can happen in three months. Can't... Is it August I'm taking, like last year? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Vicky, all done? All done. Lovely. Brad, all done? Mm. Yeah. Lovely. All done from Adele. Brilliant. Okay, so that's everybody down with the jalapeno. I'm not going to rush you through because I don't think it's fair to sort of like even got the next round before you're actually finished. If you can just let me know when you're all finished. Um, I think it's just Adele really to go. It's the only big one out of the 10 rounds. So Yeah, that, that filled me up a little bit already. <laughs> 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 Wait till you get to the speed round. Oh, I know. I, I hate speed rounds. That Shakira is about a foot long. <laughs> uh, <I> just... <laughs> <laughs> What's that like at the uh, Dorset one? They gave you the intimidator, wasn't it? <laughs> That's it. That was huge, wasn't it? The, the schlong. Yeah, well done. <laughs> okay, finished. So if we can move on to now round two, <laughs> bird bite, Gillian. We're doing two of these. <laughs> Now, normally with um, a bird's eye, you'd expect it to be that sort of stingy on the tongue heat. Um, it comes in at about 50 to 100,000 Scoville. So everybody get them ready. Just waiting for you, Brad. Yeah. Good man. Okay. On three. Three, two, one. Chomp those chilies. Mm. Yeah, so like I say, a little bit of a different type of heat. This one is more tip of the tongue. People before it said they're quite floral, these, for bird's eye. Normally, you wouldn't expect a bird's eye to be too floral. You'd expect that sort of stingy heat that you get. Well done, Bob. Bob means business. Jim, all done? I bought the stalk stuff. Yeah, that's fine, so, that's the other thing with an online competition, you know. We, the chilies get um, the chilies get harvested. Then they have to be sent to me. Then I have to send them to you. It can take a while, and sometimes, you know, we we need to cut the stalks off. We need to wash them. We need to prep them, and you know, you can't always you can't always keep the full stalk on there. It's all good. Well, well done, Brad. <coughs> Vicky, you done? Yep. Good. Give us a smile, Adele. Go on, just force that's it. Force it out. <laughs> Brad, we're getting a lot of crotch shots. Yeah. A lot of. Oh, um, sorry about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> usually, I, usually I'll try to try that sort of thing. It's a family friendly guy, mate. He's got his yeah. new underpants on. He's trying to show us them all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well done, Adele. Brilliant. Okay. All right. If we can move on to the Scotch bonnets. So this is a um, Scotch bonnet red or a foodorama. Not as hot as a normal Scotch bonnet, but a little bit more fruity. It's got that sort of UFO um, Jamaican mushroom type shape to it. 
Are we all ready to go? Yeah. Okay, right. Three, two, one. Chomp those chilies. You right, Adele? <laughs> These are apparently those um, birds I are pretty floral. If you're not good with floral, it's a difficult first few rounds. <coughs> How's that one, Bob? <coughs> oh, I should have had tissue. Oh, no, it's not mine. Have you got anything to hand, Brad? Can I take can I take take my laptop with me to the kitchen? Yeah, right. go for it. Yeah, right. go for it. As long as as long as yeah. we're um, as long as we've got on the journey with you. <laughs> Your name. <laughs> how's the heat? How's the heat, Jim? Do you know, I thought there was more heat in the bird's eye than than that other bonnet we just had. Yeah. Yeah, I mean the heat yeah, level is not, the heat level is not all that's getting you. You know, you're being got with the floral, the taste, yeah. different parts of the mouth, all you designed know, to get all different bits. Stephen, I actually don't mind the floral taste. I actually yeah. prefer it to be honest. Some some people say it tastes like eating a bar of soap, and they hate it. Whereas other other people absolutely love it. So I think it's a bit of a harm. <laughs> Adele, you right, babe? Adele, you okay? Just a cough? Yeah, okay. All right, good. Everybody finished the um, Scotch bonnet? Yeah. Okay, right. Now we move on to bag two. No, I think we might have. Tony, have we lost Adele? Okay, all right. Thank you, mate. Yeah. Round of applause for Adele. Love you, Adele. Even though she's a bit of a, a bad time. Can you just take a, a ride a bike off the screen? <laughs> Again. That a room. She rode off on a bike. <laughs> yeah. I think, to be honest with Adele, um, she's not been too well for the last few days. Mm. And like maximum respect for her for continuing and actually taking part, even though she didn't get that far. Okay, right. So bag number two is finished. Move on to now bag number. Um, sorry, bag number one is finished. Move on to bag number two. And the first pod in this one is the lemon habanero. So that's the yellow pod. So for this one, it's circa three thousand. Uh, sorry, three hundred and twenty-five thousand Scoville. If you can just hold it up to let me know that you're ready. Which one should I go for? Which one do you like the look of? I like the wrinkly looking. Oh, all right, I'll go for that one. <laughs> I remember um, there was a competition last year. I think Johnny Scoville was in in New Zealand. And every time they came to him with the choice of pod, he goes, give me the biggest one. So I'll leave you to choose which one you take, Brad. I, I usually did that, actually. Because sometimes <laughs> the smallest ones can be hotter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a lottery, isn't it, at the end of the day? Yeah. I, th I think over the oh, path of the course, you know, by the time you get to round 10, I think you, you'll you have um, had your fair share. Mm. Okay, right. Here we go. Everyone ready? Yeah. Three, yeah. two, one. Chomp those cheese. This one is super, super floral. I had a couple of these this week on um, a salad, and it is just one of the most floral chilies I've ever had. Not too hot, but super floral. Just get it down quick. Yeah. <laughs> well then, Bob. Bob means business. Look at the composure there. How was that, Jim? That was right. I actually enjoyed that. Yeah, good. Vicky, how's that? Yeah, soapy. Yeah. You're not a fan of the florals? Not particularly. Yeah. I don't mind reapers. Yeah. Um, too much. But yeah, that really was quite soapy. Yeah. Brad, how was that for you? 
So it's, it's all painful tonight, actually, because my mouth's red raw. So, right. um, but I'm trooping through. <sighs> yeah. Okay, yeah. right. We move on to round five, which is the habanero. So it's the red one in this bag. It's quite often used in hot sauce, the habanero. Um, very common chili, <clears throat> lots of people's favourites. Normally a fruity and with a fair heat. We're talking about a 300 to a 450,000 Scoville heat units here. If you just hold those in the air, let me know that you're ready. Okay. Three, two, one. Chomp those cheese. I must say, you four are looking composed. I'm not seeing any cracks in the armor here. Probably the last of the medium, uh, mild to medium chilies, this habanero red. How's that one, Brad? Yeah, it's hot. Warmer. Build up, in it? Warmer? Yeah. Yeah, good. Jam a little bit warmer? Just slightly, I would say. Yeah, Pretty okay. Hot. Yeah, what, what are we out of 10, would you say? Maybe three. Three. Maybe. Vicky, where are we out of 10? I'm probably going to say a five. Five, okay. Mm. Bob? One. One. Boom. Um, Hi. Ooh. And Brad, <laughs> where are you? Usually about four. It feels like a six. Okay, all right. <sighs> so Bob, mentally, you've got this. Yeah. I'm at it. I've got you anyway, so. Okay. All right, so now we start moving into the um, the bigger, harder, harder hitting chilies, and we move to the chocolate scorpion. So if you can take the chocolate pot out, this is where we get serious. I this one is, is quite a jump up. We're one point two to two million Scoville. You can't really tell exactly what Scoville units the pot is, but that's that's the average. It's fairly big. It's fairly bitter. It's still a little bit floral, and now we've got some proper heat to contend with. Everybody ready? Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one. <laughs> Chomp those cheese. Go on, Jim. All down in one. Go on, Bob. This is not phasing you at all, Bob, is it? Since I've got my mind on something, that's that. Yeah, no, I can tell. I can see there's some real results in you. <coughs> How's that one, Brad? It's all right. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't taste like chocolate. <laughs> they do look so much better than they taste, don't they? they yeah, they do. <laughs> Gem, all good? Yeah, that's ramped up to a seven, eight. Yeah. Bob, are we getting are we getting above a one yet? Would you say three? Three. Okay. Three. Yeah. Okay. Right. We're gonna. Is everybody okay to move to the next one? Bag number three. Come on, Brad. Composure. Right. Bag number three. All the pods in here are red, so they're a little bit difficult to tell the difference. The long, pointy ones are the ghost chilies. The dark red, smoother ones are the scorpions, and the very wrinkly ones are the reapers. So if you can find what you think is a ghost chili, and just hold it up to me. Yeah, that's right, Jim. Brad, yeah, that's right. That one as well? Um, I think so. Okay. Slight crack in the armour there, Bob, with a wipe of the nose. Yeah. Which one are you going for, Bob? The small or the big one? I've got one. Yeah. Good man. Okay. If you can hold the ghost chilies up. We're dropping down heat a little bit here, but this one attacks the back of the throat a little bit more. So this is the ghost chili. 850 to a million Scoville. Three, two, one. Trump those chili. Go 
Come on, Jem, mind over matter. This and three more, then you're in your comfort zone. The speed round. Yeah. Oh, I feel shit. Well done, Bob. You're down. Vicky's down. Brad, Brad sounds slightly on the edge. Good man. Well done, Brad's down. That chocolate scorpion in the previous round is brutal to have in the sixth round. That one, that's killing me. Yeah, I can imagine. Well done, Jen. Brad, what about some star jumps or some squats or something like that? Oh. A little well, PE uh, lesson, possibly. Oh, my legs out because uh, I'm getting cramped. Yeah, it's fine. Have you got somebody there with you, Brad, or on your own? I'll be fine. I'll make myself oh, check. Okay. I think we've lost Jem. Oh. Right, Jem is done. Round of applause for Jem. And then there were three. Okay, how's everybody doing on the ghost chili? Are we down? Hi. Okay, so now we move on to round eight, which is the dried scorpion. So this is one point two million goggles. I'm out, guys. Okay. Is Brad? Gee, thank you. I would go further, but nah. You sure? Oh, yeah. Come on, man. Okay, round of applause for Brad. Yeah. Well done, mate. Right, we'll move, Brad. <coughs> right, so now we have two left, Burning Bob and Vicky. Are we good to continue? Yep, good. Okay. Three, two, one. Chomp those chilies. So the dried scorpion is at 1.2 to 2 million scovels. The reason this is so hard is because by now you probably don't have too much saliva in your mouth. And this is like eating broken glass. This is so hard to actually chew and get down, as demonstrated by Bob, who ate it in about five seconds. Well done, Vic. Vic, are you finished? Mouth, empty mouth? Yep, good. Both done. Okay, so now we move on to round nine. Are we good to keep going, or did you need a little minute to compose yourselves? I'm fine. I'm all good. Yeah. Vicky, how are we? Burning. Yeah, I can imagine. Are we good to continue? Are you going to do it for the girls? No pressure. We're going to give it a go. Good. You, are, you do look good. You can do it. Let's do this, right. right, show me those red scorpions. So this one is, Vicky's got the right one. I think that might be the Reaper, Bob. Show me a dark red smooth one. Yes, that's it. Well done. Okay, for the red scorpion, one point, one point four to 2 million scovels after three. Three, two, one. <coughs> Chomp those chilies. What on, Bob? What on? Uh. What on, Bob? Vicky, how's that? I know you. Your mind wants to give in, doesn't it? You got this and then the Reaper, then the speed. That is so hot, the red scorpion. I think it tastes dead fruity. I've got a fruity taste it. It is very fruity. That's good. I thought it was just me. <laughs> Mickey's done. Congratulations, Bob. 
Well done, mate. You said you were going to win. Well played, Vicky. Well played. Well, well played, done. Vicky. I'm just going to remove Vicky just for a sec. Well done, mate. Right. You predicted all four winners, including yourself. So you've won two competitions tonight. Yes! You, did, you don't even look affected. I was waiting to get, get to the Reaper as well. <laughs> you can still have the Reaper if you want the Reaper. <laughs> don't let me stop you. That was wicked, but I'm, oh, actually, that's coming off for, <laughs> aye, aye, for hosting it. Your name to me is Games Master, always will be. So I think you should dare with Stinger and just be called Games Master. <laughs> I'm very proud of you, mate. You've done really, really well there. You've obviously, you've obviously built that tolerance to such a level that that wasn't even um, that wasn't even too difficult for you. Well done, mate. It was no, no. Right, I'm going to bring anybody who's left back in. Jen. Are you all right? Are you in a <laughs> Adele, are we okay to bring you in? Adele, how good did Bob do there? He was amazing. He did. He played. He dropped it on the dark horse and just dropped it on. Bob, we're going to send you something special because you guess all four of those right. That was absolutely boom. Right. The only, thanks a lot. Wow. I'm just the so. only person. Wow. Bob, massive respect, man. Love you, dude. Right. Right, guys, I'm going to yeah. let you all go. Well done, Bob. You've done absolutely brilliant. I'll let you guys go and do whatever. Thank you, Stephen. Stephen. League of Fire, well done, mate. League of Fire, Bob, Adele. <coughs> League of Fire and Nuke. Yeah. Sing, Bob. Sing, Bob. Nuke and League of Fire. Nuke and League of Fire. <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. Right, Bob, well done to you. You're in the grand final at the end of the summer, along with Cameron, Neil and Billy. And we'll have one more person when we do round five. Just well, to say, the bonnet's not there. I, I was hoping the bonnet would have been there, but at the end of the day, mate, whoever wins wins. Ah, uh, it would have been good, but student versus master kind of thing. <laughs> You're in the final, aren't you? Who's not? Aye. All right, mate. Right, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let you go, Bob. Thank you very much, and well done again. Thanks a lot, games master. Thanks, yeah, buddy. Bye. Right, there we have it. All four rounds completed. So we have Cameron from round one, Neil Childs from round two, um, Billy, McBlain, Billy McBlain from round three, and now we have Burning Bob Robert McKinley from Scotland in the final. So that's it from us for this weekend. We have um, one more heat to do at the start of the summer, and then we will have the grand final at the end of the summer. We're thinking... 15 rounds might be a little bit harder than the ones that you've seen so far, but, you know, I, I think it's going to be fun. So thank you very much for watching. Really appreciate it and take care.